Hello? Are you awake? Hello? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you're here with us. Well, me. <laughs> I was quite concerned. Well, you see, you were knocked out. Your blood pressure is rising and your heart rate was just so high. Mm hmm So, I'm a doctor of sorts and I took you back to my place. So I could open you up and see what is wrong with you. I'm sure you feel like you're okay, but trust me, you're anything but. You're in harm's way. But if you uh, want me to do the checkup first, we can do that. I left my stethoscope at the hospital that I work at, so just hold out your wrist. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. Your resting heart rate is over 200 beats per minute. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah, so we should really check up, you know, check what's going on in there, shall we? Hmm. Yes, 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 I think we shall. <laughs> this is just so pretty. I haven't been able to use it yet, but I think it will do so well for you. <laughs> Be still. I'm glad you're not feeling the pain. I do know how to numb you. I studied anesthesiology before becoming a surgeon. Though I did it so that you're awake. And <laughs> can see everything that I do. There's just something about watching a heart beat. It's so, so nice. Yes. Hmm. Let me do a small massage to get it back to where I need. Yes, so calming, so soothing. Mm. Now, I'm gonna take my mask off. Don't scream. Trust me, once the mask goes, everyone screams. But I'm asking you, please, Please, don't scream. <laughs> Shh. Shh. 
You promised you wouldn't scream. <laughs> yeah. I'm a vampire. I'm a pretty well-disciplined vampire. Mm hmm Actually, you want to know why I'm so disciplined? Because I know I'm going to have a nice little feast when I'm done. Mm-hmm. It's going to be quite tasty. <laughs> mm. I just can't wait. Yes. Vampires are real. It's not a fairy tale, folklore, <sighs> fake fiction. We're real. There's a lot of us. And <laughs> your kind make it quite easy for us to hide in plain sight. <laughs> you really don't know? <sighs> Have you heard about the fanged killer? Yeah, the serial killer called the fanged killer. Do you know why they call him the Fanged Killer? Exactly! They find a vampire-like bite on the neck of every victim. Hence, the signature of the killer. And also why they call them the Fanged Killer. They think that they just have a mm, fantasy about being a vampire. Never do they think that the person's an actual vampire. It's kind of fun. Because it's a win-win situation. I get to pretend that mm, the person doing all these killings is human. Well, really, it's me, a vampire, and I don't have to worry about my existence being found out, nor being killed off. I know, it's the best. Hmm. Well... Why do you think that I chose you? I'll answer any and all questions before I finish you off. I chose you because it's going to take a long, long time before anyone, if anyone, figures out you're missing. That's my M.O. Finding people that no one really will notice is gone. Haven't you yearned for a purpose, a meaning in life? Well, maybe this is your purpose. Maybe this is your meaning in life. <laughs> hmm. Some people are very happy with knowing that. Knowing that they're going to die, allowing something else to live. Other people cry and cry and cry. It's so annoying. Some people get mad, but they can't do anything because their chest is wide.
like yours. Mm. Can't wait to take everything out of you and eat it. It'll be so, so good. Mm. Why? Because animals just don't taste the same as humans. They're always fed the same thing or each other in some barbaric way. So, humans, you taste different, juicy, amazing. Ah, oh, yes. I think it's time. I take a little nibble, don't you? <laughs> Just a little one. Just to start. Hmm. Any other questions? Oh, I'm going to train you dry. To honor you, I will put 
sacred ritual to show my gratitude. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can pass away easily now knowing that your purpose has been fulfilled. Thank you for Thank you.